Now look at this. Wow, just holding it. And then this, they have this, I guess, air management shield. I heard that this really does wonders at high speed. Hello everybody, this is Imran Jamil. Uh, today I just wanted to talk about the helmets and um, my struggle with some of them. So I've tried numerous helmets in the past two, three years since I came back to motorcycling. And then I ended up with this uh, Schuberth C3, but this is the light one. C3 light, mainly because of uh, the overall uh, style of this helmet, as well as the uh, weight advantage over the C3 Pro, and obviously the price. I think it was around like, if I remember correctly, 300 some dollars when I bought it. Um, and uh, it seemed like a great deal. And it's been a very, very good, comfortable helmet. Uh, had it for almost two years now. Having said that, it does have some flaws. So the weight of this helmet, though lighter, three pound and 11 ounces, I think, I'll put the weight on the, on the screen, um, which seemed to be a good lighter side uh, weight on the, you know, for the modular helmets. Again, this is a quality helmet. Everything from the inner linings to uh, the construction to everything feels really high quality. And compared to some of my other helmets, like the, everything that you do in this helmet is, uh, is very smooth and well built. But the biggest flaw I had riding through the summers, and I did not think of it as a big deal, that it does not have the exhaust valves uh, ventilation for ventilation. And uh, it, uh, it does get hot. I really never thoroughly tested it enough in the, in the summer uh, because we only did short rides. But uh, I did realize, uh, compared to my other helmets, that uh, it would have been better if it had the vents. The other thing is it didn't come with the pin lock. I recently installed this cheap pin lock, uh, which seems to work. But now it's getting to a point where I wanted to change the helmet and uh, one of the reasons was that I went with the larger shell size. So it fits me better if I have the XL. My other helmets are XL too, but it comes in two shell sizes and it does seem like that the second shell size XL is the starting point. So it looks too big in some cases. I'm, I'm changing it is because I got the wrong size I feel it, even though it's comfortable but I always felt that according to the ratings or the wind noise and everything else and the weight it just felt heavier than what it suggested uh, not to mention that I have uh, this uh, communication system by Freedcom which I'm replacing with Cardo now um, I had the Senna before but this one I bought because it had the camera uh, but I didn't realize that the camera mic is only external and there's no way for me to get an um, internal mic. The other thing I didn't like is that this keeps coming off. Um, I have to put it every few um, times I wear the helmet. It starts coming off and it never uh, really sat well in there with the comm system. So, so uh, other than that, it's been great. So the, the video is not actually about the Schubert helmet that I'm retiring right now, or at least keeping it as a, as a backup, but the new one that I got. So I, I, was, I almost was positive that from this helmet, I'm going to move on to some of the smart helmets, especially the MK1 uh, Foresight, but MKS actually, uh, Foresight. But that only comes in full face. It doesn't come in modular. And I tried that helmet, and I kid you not, that is a fantastic helmet uh, for the weight, for the fit, and overall quality. It's very expensive. It's about $1,100. I was getting a good deal at $850 for that helmet. But uh, I just, uh, because of that and the communication systems limitations, I decided to search more. And this is what I ended up with, LS2 Advent X. Um, this is the new uh, generation of uh, LS2 helmets. This is the update to the Valiant series. Uh, this one is not the carbon fiber, but the you know regular carbon edition. And uh, I wanted to stick with Schubert or um, maybe uh, Showy, but uh, when I did the research, this just topped the list 
other than the tour modular from AGV. Uh, but when I considered uh, the 180 degree flip uh, option, then uh, I just couldn't help. And it does have pretty much all the high-end features, plus the 180 degree flip mechanism or rotating chin bar, which is very good. It's also e ECE 2206 certified, which uh, again is the European standard, but I hear that you know they have really uh, toughened up the requirements of safety. So I guess it doesn't hurt when I'm buying a new helmet, it should be latest and greatest. So opening up the box, this is a quality packaging. And uh, I like another fact that it comes with this bag. This may be a handy option because I recently updated my motorcycle as well. Uh, and uh, that does not have the panniers, the new 13, uh, R1300GS. So I was just searching for some uh, solution in the interim until I get the panniers. Uh, and this might be a good um, option to have. You know, It does come with the pin lock. Alright, so let's open it up. This is a very impressive packaging. Wow. It's really quality construction. So the bag, and that's uh, oh, a tinted visor. That is extra. I'm probably not going to use it, but it's good to have. And then the um, bag as well. I bought it in white color because my one of my motorcycles is white and black that's the R1300 GS so it may be okay because I have other helmets that are black plus with this I have some graphics that I'm gonna just put on so it doesn't look really white and just just the plain white doesn't look too good now look at this wow just holding it and then this they have this I guess air management shield. I heard that this really does wonders at high speed. And I kid you not, just holding it, it feels better quality than the Schubert that I have. Yeah. Um, I do hear that this is a little bit noisier. Uh, wind noise, I guess, is a little bit more prevalent in this than some of the competition. Specifically, if you compare it to the Schubert, because that's where it was pretty good, but I, since I got the wrong size, I uh, never experienced the advantage that Schubert offers. So this is a pretty good quality construction. It's gloss white, so I'm going to have to do some uh, modifications to uh, the look of it. However, with black accents, it doesn't look as bad, at least to me. I like it. Overall, very good design. So it's got three, uh, three vents, two here, one at the top. And then the good thing is that you don't have another slider of some kind that you have to um, struggle to find when you're wearing the helmet. You just click on the main opening uh, cover and uh, it does open it. And then the rear vents obviously are also uh, open and close. So let's see how would that work once I do it. But this one I bought in the smaller shell size and went with large instead of extra large. So now that I have to see uh, how well it will work. Uh, because if it's too snug and too tight, I may have to do something with the inner lining. So they offer some liners as well, I think, uh, um, that I can replace it with. The other thing is the release is pretty good. The chin, uh, chin release, it's first of all, it's magnetic. And look at the overall coverage. I really like it compared to if I bring this now you can see it has a pretty good solid uh, material as well and uh, solid coverage but it seems to uh, this seems to have a little bit better protection and uh, I guess coverage because it comes further forward into it and it may block the wind a little bit better that's what it seems like plus I heard that they have moved this uh, strap a little further so that it doesn't really get annoying uh, just sticking to your neck if you if you tighten it up now let's see how it opens up this also is uh, okay the visor operation compared to my shoe berth is obviously a little cheaper this the shoe berth even though this is a c3 light feels uh, a little bit more refined 
uh, as far as the visor operation is concerned. It's not bad, but it's just a little bit flimsier, right? And this one is just very smooth. Yeah, look at that. So now let's open the chin bar. This is where it, oh my God, it is so smooth. And this is where LS2 Advent X shines. All right, visor is pretty good. I mean, it looks like <laughs> glass strapped onto it. And I don't think that's a film. Maybe it is, maybe I have to take it off. But uh, the visor operation is pretty good. It's not bad. Overall, I like the construction. Like this is all, this is not hard plastic. This is like rubberized or maybe, yeah. So it is plastic over here, but they have put rubberized material on top. Just pull it and pull it again and it comes out. And even, <laughs> wow, this is like metal. All the signs of a quality helmet with great construction. And it's, uh, it's, it's midline. It's not a cheap helmet. I mean, this one in particular is about $429. I saw some sites that are selling it for cheaper, but they have like a month of delivery time. And then they have delivery charges that are like $30, $40, $80. And, uh, you know, so it's the same thing. So I just went with Speed Addicts. I'm buying anything from them for the first time and so far the buying experience has been smooth. Uh, it came in uh, I think earlier than the anticipated date and uh, overall uh, it's pretty good. So let's see how it fits. It is a t much tighter fit but I can all already see where I was lacking in the other helmet. So just guys remember don't go for an out of the box loose helmet. And moving it forward, it is fantastic. Uh, I do see that this portion, when the chin bar is closed, is lower because I think it was uh, in the Schubert, it's a little bit higher, like this. So I don't know how would that affect, but uh, overall, it's pretty good, and I already feel a lot lighter. Uh, once I strap on my camera, which is about 0.8 pounds, this comes ready to work with the cardio communication systems. I don't know if it comes uh, ready to um, work with the pack dock because there's a, a slot in the back where the comm system goes, but I know pack talk will not go there. So it have to be, I would have to install it over here. Um, which brings me to another issue that uh, over here, there are too many angles. So where would I mount the system? Maybe like back here or something. And I don't want it to interfere with the wind too much. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But I'll keep you posted. Right now, this was just the introductory video that I wanted to quickly shoot. And uh, let's see how it goes with the ride. Have a good one. Take care.